front end, back end, and full stack. Those are all terms you've heard associated with software development, but what are they and which one should you specialize in if you're new to software development? In this video, I'll be going into each one of them on a high level and what you should consider if you're looking to get into any one of them. Let's get into it. The visual elements you see on a website, mobile app, or desktop application usually start off as wireframes and mockups. They are created by UX designers using design tools like Adobe XD and Figma. The UX designer mainly focuses on the experience of the end user, and by experience, I mean the feel of the page, the colors, the theme, where the data should go on the page, what should happen when you click a button, the animations, and all of that. In the design software, the application is simply a mock-up and not the actual application. This is where the front-end engineer comes in. They convert those mock-ups into code. A button in a mock-up is a rectangle with text in the middle and a background color. However, that button represented in code looks like this. You can see the HTML tag for the button and the CSS script to style it. This is one way of converting it and the conversions will look different depending on the framework that's being used. The front-end developer does this for all the components in the designs, converting each one of them into code. They structure the page to ensure all the items are in the right place, essentially recreating the design except using code. They also have to make sure that the page is responsive and looks good on desktop, mobile apps, and tablets as well. Depending on the type of application, the front-end developer will also write code that captures data from the user. That data is sent to a database and is eventually pulled from the same database and displayed to a user. This is where the backend engineer comes into play. That data needs to be stored in a secured way. It also needs to be organized in a way that is efficient to read and write from. If the data is user-specific, then it needs to be stored in a way where the data is linked to that specific user and that user alone. In an application like Instagram, where there is media data like photos and videos, they need to be stored in a way that doesn't take up a lot of space. Say you follow someone on Instagram. On the UI, it's the tap of a button. But on the back end, multiple things need to be done to ensure that the person gets a notification that you follow them, you see their post, you're added to their list of followers, and they're added to the list of people you're following, and a lot more. In addition to all of this, the backend engineer usually designs and codes mechanisms, APIs, to receive all the data from the UI, aka the client side, and send that data back to the client side when someone needs it. They also have to design it in a way that's very scalable to handle millions of requests from multiple people around the world without breaking. I'm sure you get the point. There's a lot you don't see or think about when interacting with an application. The backend engineer usually handles most of that. The full stack engineer, however, does both. They can convert those mock-up designs into UI code components and also design a database and create APIs to send and receive data from the client. The question then becomes, which one should you choose and why? I'm going to break this part into two sections. The first is what you should choose based on your interest, and the second is what you should choose based on current demands. If you enjoy visually seeing the results of your code and have a passion for seeing the end user use what you've built, then front-end development might be for you. However, if you care about solving a wide range of complicated problems that involve parts of the application that the user will never see, for example, storing data in a way that makes retrieving it faster by milliseconds or anything relating to data, then back-end development might be for you. Notice how I said might in both cases. You won't fully know until you try them both. It's also easy to switch between them and the skill set you learn is trans translatable? Trans transferable? Translatable? The JavaScript you use on a front-end framework like React is the same JavaScript you use on the back-end Node Express server, just different purposes. As far as demand goes, both are in high demand and you can't go wrong with choosing one. Every team needs both. In terms of salary and compensation, most of the data points towards back-end and full-stack developers making more than front-end developers, but not by a lot. According to Indeed, the average salary for a back-end developer is $119,435, and the average salary for a front-end developer is $102,271. So if you're looking for the money, you know where to go. I will say these numbers are averages and they vary hugely based on location and experience. My opinion is to try both, but start with front-end development because it's easier to learn, then proceed to back-end development as you get more comfortable. When working on projects, try to do both. Write the code for the client side, the UI, and set up the database and the APIs to fetch from the database. Doing both makes you marketable, and as I stated, the skills are transferable. 
you will write code doing the both of them and the underlying logic for most if not all programming languages is the same. If you try one and you don't like it, you can easily switch and if you like both, you can become a full stack developer. Most of the fulfillment I get from programming is knowing how it works behind the scenes from the beginning of the process to the end. It involves the front end side, knowing how the client was designed to optimize the user's experience and the back end side, knowing the data architecture, how the data was stored and all the other complicated mechanisms in place to ensure that the data goes through every time. When you strip away all the fancy words and the fancy terms, programming in a simplest state is all about handling data. We are simply getting data from one user, storing it and displaying that data back to a user or a group of other users. Without data, there is no programming. When you listen to music on Spotify, are you more intrigued by the UI and figuring out how those components are represented in code? Or are you more interested in how the music data is stored and understanding how experiences like joint playlists, live listening sessions with other users and Spotify rap all work behind the scenes? We see those experiences visually on the client side, but a lot of the heavy lifting happens on the parts that we don't see. Systems with complex logic driven by data are constantly running to make sure those experiences and features are possible. Thinking about it alone makes me excited. I am a full stack developer with a preference for backend development because over time, I've learned that those are where the most interesting problems to solve are and it's very hard to get bored. Regardless of what you choose, there is no wrong choice. Try them both and see what you enjoy. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video or found anything useful, then consider subscribing. Catch you on the next one. Peace.